This news update is brought to you by... So, I'm meeting Rico later. Gotta check in with the girls, but first, let me check my usage on the MyLime app. Now, what should I wear? <laughs> Hashtag sexy. He's here. It's Friday, June 26, and time for the Barbados Today evening news update. Thank you for joining us. I am Marie Claire Williams. Nine people are now homeless following a house fire in Bank Hall, Main Road, St. Michael, this afternoon. According to police spokesman David Welch, the blaze occurred around 2 p.m. near Danesbury and gutted the four-bedroom wooden structure. Two people, including a one-year-old child, were at home when the fire started. The Barbados Fire Service was unable to save the structure. Two nearby houses were slightly damaged. The dwelling belonged to 71-year-old Avila Smith. A St. James family is in mourning this evening after their 27-year-old son, Trevon Cadogan, died in a vehicle accident last night on his way home from the CPL match. When the Barbados Today team visited his family, the, his parents were too distraught to speak to our team. And Cadogan died at the scene of a two-car smash-up on Spring Garden Highway around 12.05 a.m. on Friday. He was a front-seat passenger in the motor vehicle driven by Michael Toppin, also 27, of Oxnard's St. James. Two men convicted of a spate of burglaries in the north of the island were today given two-year sentences. Jamal O'Neill, 33, and 27-year-old Akil Hezekiah Callender pleaded guilty to six counts of burglary, for which they were jointly charged when they appeared at the Whole Town Magistrates Court early this afternoon. A 20-year-old man has been arrested in connection with the death of 68-year-old Samuel Clark on Monday. Cheyenne Deshaun Williams of Eden Lodge St. Michael appeared in court today and was remanded until July 24th. He was charged with a number of offenses, including causing death by dangerous driving, no driver's license, no insurance, and leaving the scene of an accident. Clark was struck by a motorcycle along the Bank Hall main road. Barbados could benefit from the second funding cycle of the Caribbean Development Fund, which begins on July 1st. The outgoing CEO, Ambassador Lon McDonald, McDonald says member states have pledged a total of 65 million U.S. dollars to the fund's second cycle. It will be paid within the next two years. Eight member states qualified for assistance in the first cycle, and Haiti and Montserrat have indicated an interest in joining the CDF. The head of the Barbados Coalition of Service Industries says there are fears a number of businesses could be shut down if they do not meet government requirements to obtain a tax clearance certificate. And Lisa Cummings says the BCSI's over 5,000 members believe the situation could lead to more underground operations. Finance Minister Chris Sinclair announced the requirements in his budget presentation earlier this month. He said it was to ensure that all professionals pay their fair share of taxes. In sports, Barbados Tridents face the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots on Saturday in their final home game of the Caribbean Premier League. Patriots believe they can spring a surprise and halt the Tridents' winning streak. The match begins at 4 o'clock in a showdown that brings together the likes of Marlon Samuels, Kyron Pollard and Jason Holder. There's regional and international news after this short break. Like a Spontaneous and creative, enter the BT Crossover Superstar Competition. Pen your lyrics, create your video for your chance to be the first online monarch. Win over fifteen thousand dollars in cash and other prizes. For full details, log on to Facebook slash Barbados Today dot BB.
<laughs> no the girls are winning and we're going to move in and be on the rock sun anytime. This is Raspilly and me well versatile. Anytime me drop, you know me drop it in a style. Whether raga soccer or whether broke wine. The girls ain't come to me because they know me of the style. Whoop wax, you don't know Raspilly the place. Yeah, people, long time now you want to be a superstar. Right now you got the chance because Barbados today got their superstar crop over competition. All you got to do is write your lyrics. Set up your video, send it into them, and you got a chance to win up to fifteen thousand dollars in prizes. You know that easy. Whoa, yes, I go from Facebook Barbados today slash Facebook. You go check it out. People got to think they're rolling for you, so do your thing. You don't know. Whoa, yes, I. In news from the region, the UN Secretary General's Special Representative to Haiti, Sandra Honoré, is asking the Dominican Republic to rethink its deportation policy of people of Haitian descent. Honoré says the acts should be consistent with the dignity, human rights, and international humanitarian law. The decision from Santo Domingo stems from a 2013 constitutional court ruling. In international news, the U.S. Supreme Court today ruled that same-sex marriage is a legal right across the country. It means the 14 states with bans on same-sex marriage will no longer be able to enforce them. The ruling brings to an end a decade of, le of bitter legal battles. And President Barack Obama today paid tribute to the nine victims of the Charleston shooting. He ended his eulogy for the Reverend Clementa Pinckney, singing Amazing Grace and reading the names of the victims. Clementa Pinckney found that grace. Cynthia Hurd found that grace. Susie Jackson found that grace. Ethel Lance found that grace. The pain Middleton doctor found that grace. Taiwanza Sanders found that grace. Daniel L. Simmons Sr. found that grace. Saranda Coleman Singleton found that grace. Myra Thompson found that grace. Through the example of their lives, they've now passed it on to us. And that ends the evening news update. Remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. Also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Also tune in to Channel 101 on Lime TV as well as Mix 96.9 FM. I am Marie Claire Williams. Good evening.